If you landed on this video, then it's highly possible that you are seeing fail to create D3D device error when trying to play Counter Strike 2, right? Usually this error message appears if you are running the game at settings which your machine does not support or if you are running outdated graphic drivers. In this video, you will find various solutions to fix the issue. So without further delay, let's start with the first solution. Before doing anything else, exit Steam. and restart your computer. Sometimes this basic solution do great wonders and helps in fixing various issues related to Steam. If this also fails to fix the issue, then try launch options. For that, we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to the channel so we can continue making such content. All right, for that in the Steam client, switch to library. Here, locate Counter-Strike 2 available on the left panel. Right click on it and select properties. Select general tab and then on the right side, scroll down to launch options. Here you need to try various commands. Let's start with the first one. Paste this command in the field available under launch options. Close the property window and check if you are able to launch the game. If this fails, try next command. And check if this fixes the issue. If this also fails, try the next command. In the above command, n is your CPU core. So you need to replace n with the number of CPU cores on your machine. To find that, launch task manager on your PC, switch to performance tab, then select CPU. Here check logical processor count. It's eight in my case, but it could be different on your PC. So replace n with this count of your logical processor count and paste it here. And check if this makes a game open up. If this also fails, Try next command and check if this fixes the issue. If this command also fails, try the next command and check if this fixes the issue. If this also fails, try next command and check if this fixes the issue. If this also fails, Try next command and check if this fixes the issue. You will find all these commands in the link added in the description. If after applying all the commands, issue is not resolved, then clear launch option field and try next solution. Delete Steam app cache. Sometimes corrupt Steam cache could be the reason behind the game not launching or opening. So clearing the Steam cache could be a great idea to fix the issue. Here is how you can do that. Open file explorer by pressing windows plus E key combination and navigate to following location. C drive, program files 86, Steam, app cache, delete all files and folder inside the app cache folder. After that, exit the Steam and relaunch it and check if this fixes the issue. If this fails to fix the issue, then verify integrity of game files. For that, in the Steam client, switch to library. Here locate Counter-Strike 2, right click on it and select properties. Switch to installed files tab on the left and then click on the verify integrity of game files button. This will take 3 to 4 minutes. After that, check if Counter Strike 2 opening or not. If this method also fails, try to uninstall and reinstall latest graphic drivers. For that, you can open Device Manager. Locate Display Adapter Entry, under it locate Display Device, in my case it's from Intel, it could be from Nvidia and AMD in your case. Right click on it and select Uninstall. After that restart your computer, head over to your device graphic manufacturer website, for example Intel, Nvidia. 
or AMD and download the latest graphic drivers for your device. After that install it and check if this fixes the issue. So these are possible solutions that you can use to fix fail to create D3D device error in Counter Strike 2 or CS2. Don't forget to tell in the comments which solution helps you in fixing the issue so that other affected gamers apply the solution directly. In case you are aware of any other solution that helps in fixing the issue but I failed to cover in this video then feel free to share it as well. And if you find this video useful don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.